you get into an application where possibly a customer's material is high in clay content, or they're running wet material coming through, uh, through the wet side of the plant, and they've got a lot of adhesive sticky material, dredging applications, oftentimes they'll pick up a lot of clay. There are different applications out there where you'll run into sticky material. And sticky material can be a real problem as far as carryback's concerned. But any material can be cleaned off of a belt. Um, don't just knuckle down and say one cleaner's not clean and it can't be cleaned. Put on two cleaners. Put on possibly three cleaners. Uh, that's going to be your big saving grace on sticky material. Getting it off of the belt and making it continue in the flow of the material down the belt line. Transferring to the next belt. Transferring to the next belt. Keep it going until it's out of the plant on a truck and making money. If you do run into a sticky material application, uh, one of the most important things with any primary is keep it mounted below the three o'clock position. Oftentimes you go out and you'll see where customers have installed a cleaner above three o'clock and it just builds up with material on top of the blade and causes additional wear, causes the material not to flow, particularly with sticky material. It'll build up and turn into a big sanding block against the belt, wearing the cover more so than the cleaner blade. So the cleaner has to be installed properly to function properly. As we come back down the belt line from the head traveling towards the tail, one of the things that you want to look at is the counterweight and the bend pulleys. That's going to be a dead giveaway on any amount of uh, carryback, any amount of cleanup. We can see on this one, we've actually added probably, I'm going to say another 1,500 pounds to their counterweight because there's a big pile of carryback on there. The material's heavy. Um, so if you, you know, if you need a point of reference, if I were to fill a standard pickup truck bed level with carryback, it'll probably weigh close to two tons. You always want to keep your counterweights clean, and the way to do that is by putting the cleaners on at the head and keeping the material from ever getting there. So if you do have a sticky material, and that sticky material is building up on there, just look at more cleaners. Also in sticky material, on your bend pulleys, uh, don't be afraid to go with a chevron wing on the bends. Having less contact with the belt will cause less material to stick to the pulleys. So if you have just a series of bars, you have less contact on the belt, you have less material sticking to the pulley causing it to fall off. The chevron ring prevents vibration down through the counterweight and it'll give you a um, better longer life of your counterweight. Pretty much in every application out there, if you see a wing pulley, a chevron wing is gonna be a better application just because it eliminates the vibration. Um, we've talked about the vibration in the counterweight. It'll also help you out in your load points. It'll help you out pretty much anywhere.